breakfast. Weed wacky but wonderful. I'm 37 year old and trying to run along the street just for Arnold Schwarzenegger to take. That's how much as I can do. You can't, you can't stop. It's the daily thing if you're the running man. Oh, welcome to the video. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the weird, wacky, but wonderful unboxing for Runner Man. Now, as much as a ah, my fortune cookie from the table. Now, as much as I would love to be running around and give myself a heart attack, or like run around trying to find myself a suit, I would love to really like justify doing it. But it's quarter to nine in the morning, and I've got to be back up at six in the morning. Lights out. Ding. Wakey time. So yeah, I've literally just got in and it's strange actually because last couple of days has been mental. I've just finished work. I went to the house. I'm living between two houses at the moment as I'm recording this. Monday saw the release of the Goonies and Beetlejuice and that was kind of it for the month. And then what's been weird about it, obviously we purchased in the house, there was a little bit of leftover. And I was like, oh, a little bit of a treat here somewhere. Had a quick look on eBay, couldn't find anything and I was just like, right, you know what, don't bother. Someone, uh, the delivery driver at work, you didn't know this, but delivered a box for game. I was like, I'll go and deliver the game. A quick uh, looking game to see if any of uh, pop finals there. I was like, no, don't, don't worry about it. And then I was just putting some stuff out of work and I seen it and I was like, wow. And Matt Davies had told me about this a while ago and um, Hurricane Rain has talked about this. Now, The Running Man is one of my favorite Schwarzenegger films because it was one of the two I had when I was a kid, The Ever Been Predator. A lot of people love Terminator, Terminator 2, or I mean, I rarely saw Commando, but a lot of people got love for other stuff like Raw Deal, Cocaine Am, um, a Twins, Kindergarten Cop, you know. You've got them Schwarzenegger films, no one ever had them all, but yeah, it was Predator and uh, Runner Man. And then Runner Man was really hard to get a hold of for ages. VHS DVD disappeared and then it got reissued um, about a year and a half ago on Blu-ray and then came with two commentaries and I was thinking about doing it at that time though I had recorded the podcast for the Runner Man so the podcast for Runner Man is on the channel and recently me and Carl revisited um, so that's just come out so that's a newer one of the two um, as I say I love this film now it's a Stephen King film and I know it's a eventually film but you know I surprised didn't slap it all over the place. But then Zavi uh, came along and uh, Brittany ordered us the Running Man Steelbook. And I love it. Uh, it was really cheap. Um, came with art cards. There'll be an outtake where the little... Because um, I don't even think I did an unboxing of this. Um, there'll be an outtake because like, the little, little badge of him on the front is actually in the monsters in my pocket display. So I'll have to try and get a picture of that. Arnold Swarton is the Running Man. Ben Richards. Love it. But the problem with the soundtrack is it's quite expensive. It's expensive everywhere. And the problem is it's a black vinyl. But because I work for the company, I get it cheaper than anywhere you'll find it online. And I am honoured and happy. Hey, fucking Casper didn't even put his record sleeve on it. To own the Running Man brand new artwork, which is by, if it's overlaid on top of me now... D. Bivlin. It's a, oh, sorry, it's the font. So this is the deluxe edition by Harold Flat uh, Flatmeyer's uh, 1987 masterpiece, Tour de Force of synthetic bass score from the composer of Beverly Hills Cop and Top Gun, expanded from 13, sorry, 17 to 36 tracks, mastered with new sources, new notes, and additional photos. So there we go, brand new artworks. You've had to go down the tube there. The running man and even on the back it's got the the logo and the film it's pretty nice like two vinyls again expensive though average 45 to 40 pound retail as i say a lot of people have uh, tried to believe order but this is the deluxe version which again i'm just like happy to have this in my collection because as soon as i've seen it today and i had it in my head did it in did in did in stuck my head such and like that tune transporters and i think to be honest with you if you listen to the podcast um i'm sure i'm on about the, the it should be available the score and it is 
So yeah, I'm um, just going to open this. No flashy funny about it. Um, woo. Very matte, matty matty. Not Matt Davies, but Matty Matty. Not Matty Connor, but Matty Matty. And inside, Killian H. Go <laughs> is lying to you. <laughs> so that's at the end there, isn't it? It's like brand new artwork. It says Killian goes through the sign. The fucking rocket fuel. Um, so on the left to the right. It's going to pull them both out, actually. And I'm always going to wait to do the unboxing tomorrow because I've got no time whatsoever to edit this. It's one of them. Totally one of them. It's like a fucking tube. Hey, yeah, you all right? <laughs> all right. Anyway, to say, it's nice, but it's not gonna lie. I just feel a little bit uh, cheaply made up. It. Loads of black and white. Haven't even dipped on colour on them, have they? Running my that's old school that one. Yeah, they haven't even colourised them as well. Deluxe edition. And they are just plain black, so there's no surprise. There you go. Just one, just two. I do, I mean, Blade Runner. Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2047. Big Trum Little China. I mean, production costs, if you were going to make this colour, you would obviously have one yellow and probably red. I, like, when you think of Runner Man, you associate red, going back to the old VHS cover. Um, so, yeah. I went through like everything is really interesting actually if you actually uh get the Rob Corn who went on to make Fast and Furious um left the film but he did the commentary for the new release and like there's loads of like espionage and loads of fucking weird stuff about the original director trying to cheat in suits and all that so but yeah um can't wait to listen to it as I say I've bought it because I do love Runner Man um and but he's gonna go where's that extra thirty pound gone? <laughs> Treaty, treaty. I mean, I could say, look, I did buy you Beetlejuice on Monday. Yeah. But yeah, um, as I say, I could have, like, you know, burned a hole in your pocket. I'd probably regret it. But this is, you know, it's winding down now because this is probably going to be, like, one of the last unboxings in these houses. And it's, like, really, like, I would love to do a weird, wacky, but wonderful. I mean, I wouldn't, I can't wait to have stuff in order because what I should have done there is Arnold Schwarzenegger's autobiography, Total Recall, which you could fucking kill somebody with it. Um, I would have just used the edge of that to open that and stuff like that but no soundtracks one of the most expensive new habits I've had it's getting expensive as uh, when I used to smoke but yeah see you in the outtakes hey I'll get you Ben Richards I'll get you next time, Ben Richards. Next time. So here's the outtake I was on about. Schwarzenegger doesn't glow as much, but I just didn't know where to put him. So the random outtake fair. Next outtake. So here's an outtake fair. On Monday when I did the Goonies and the Beetlejuice videos, I was following someone home. And there was zigzagging then. They mounted the curb and then scraped the car against the wall. And I've just followed somebody back who has just done 20 miles an hour in a national speed zone. And when it gets to the 30 zone, does 45-ish. And like, all over the road, I'm like, fucking hell, man. He's now take James Ward should appear right now. Oh, here we are. That's a nice final, isn't it? Enjoy it. So yeah, that was the one and only James Ward who, um, you want to talk about running man, when I think about running man, him. You know, James, the younger lad when I first met him, was a big lad. And now I'm like, okay, in hell. His transformations, definitely need to follow him on Instagram. Because some of the feats he does running, I'm like, man, I can't even run to the edge of the street and try and catch a postman, so fair play to you. Next outtake. Do the running man on an escalator outtake. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think there's one more outtake, but again, I can't think of it much to do, I'm sorry. It's late, it's night time. I don't like going straight in Eden. I know this hasn't been that weird, I'm not running around the woods, but it's weird, it's wacky. Wonderful. Yep, again, going to work, coming home, doing shit. I mean, look at this. These are two of the unboxings. I rushed around doing the other night and just chucked them out there. They haven't really left the shelf. The thing is about the Goonies, is actually this morning I released the Goonies podcast. Um, as I say, Beetlejuice had a podcast as well. Running Man? I enjoyed Running Man. I think Running Man was one of the very first 
double dipping podcasts whenever you visit it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. You just got about the prawn cracker. The fortune cookie. Not a prawn cracker at all, is it? Da 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 You are. <laughs> Your income will increase. <laughs> I should have opened this at the start, but yeah. There we go. It's actually true though, because that's how you know that's how we ended up being able to buy the house, but there you go. Next outtake. I hope you enjoyed the box set, mate. It sounds like it's right up my street. The wooden man, eh? What a box set. Enjoy it, mate. And now